Hi, my name is Clinton Davis, and this guitar lesson is going to be an introduction to finger picking. But this lesson is going to be designed for a certain type of guitar player. Hopefully, you're someone that has already familiarized yourself and gotten comfortable with all of your open position chords, and at least uh, an F chord as well when it comes to these, you know, full neck. Uh, bar chords. What we're going to be doing is we're going to use all those chords throughout the course of this lesson and then we're going to focus mostly on the right hand. So maybe you're the kind of guitar player that's been used to only strumming with a pick so far or else maybe if you've used your bare fingers you've been using them to grab just big chunks of strings all at once. What we're going to be doing is taking our first steps to using three fingers to pluck single strings at a time and use them in a way that's going to create two layers of independent musical activity. We're going to have the thumb down here on the low strings, keeping a rhythm and grabbing notes that help us hear a chord. And then we're going to have our melody fingers over here on the high strings, playing notes that are going to be moving around independently of the thumb notes. We're going to start off with an exercise to kind of introduce us to the different variables in terms of the rhythms we're going to make over here and the different sort of finger work we're going to have over here. And then from there we're going to go on to a collection of tunes taken from you know, some of the really great players in American traditional finger picking guitar. So at the end of this you're going to be able to keep a constant rhythm in your thumb you're going to be able to play melodies across strings one, two, and three using all of those open position chords and hopefully you're going to learn about some really great new tunes and players that maybe you haven't heard of before. Alright, this is a tune called Rock House Joe, and it comes from a pair of brothers, Sam and Kirk McGee, who are these really interesting, influential figures from the early history of country music. They were from Tennessee and uh, sort of cut their teeth in the early days of the Grand Ole Opry, backing up a really famous banjo player named Uncle Dave Macon and they made a lot of recordings throughout their lives uh, showcasing a lot of talents on guitar and banjo in particular. So this is a guitar break that Sam McGee took on the tune Rock House Joe and we're going to be using three chords in this one. We're going to be using C, F, and G. Now when it comes to the fretwork over here, this is another tune where the pinky is going to get put to work. This is really the only finger that we have to move around a chord in order to make the melody happen. So whenever we're making a C chord, we're going to have to be lifting and dropping that mostly on string 2 for a D. We're going to have to do the same thing whenever we are making an F chord. We might have to take that pinky and bring it down on string 2 to grab a D. And then when we are making our G chord, often the melody note is going to be D. So again, string 2, fret 3, that's where that pinky is going to be. Most of this melody is going to be achieved with pinches, so most of the melody is going to be timed so that these fingers are plucking at the same time as the thumb. So let's put this together. We're going to start with the C chord and we're going to have two pickup notes here where the melody is going to ascend from our C note up to that D and then come up to an E and then come right back down. Now, we're going to make that F chord. 
board. And here, right off the bat, you have to have your pinky down. That's gonna be our first melody note that we play right when we first hear the F chord being plucked. So make sure that you're putting in your F chord, but you're thinking about that pinky being there right at the beginning. We're gonna start there, and then we're just gonna have it for one note. After that, we're coming right back into our C chord. And then we're gonna move into a, mel a melodic motion very similar to the opening, coming up to a C note on string two, traveling up and then traveling down. Now, we're gonna land on the G chord. And right off the bat, that pinky's gonna need to be down on string two. This will be the only spot where we have a syncopated note as well. We're going to pluck this D and then re-hit it uh, after our high thumb note. So we have a little bit more of that melodic motion from C up to D, this time while we're holding down that G chord. We're back in our C chord now. The melody is up on E and it eventually is gonna come back down to C. Back into our F chord, just the same way we did before. Make the F chord and right at the beginning, the pinky is down on D, but it's gonna come off after just one note. Back into our C. on string two, and then back to C one last time. Okay, let's play through that really slowly one more time.